There are a ton of really cool frogs out there. Some that look like leaves, some have really bright colors, some are just really round, some that can fly, some that can fight, and then there's some that just dodge traffic. Today we talk about five frogs, some of whom can do some of that and some can do none of it, but regardless, they all look downright incredible. So as a way to kind of celebrate World Frog Day, I thought what a better way to do it than talking about some absolutely radical looking frogs like we did with geckos back for World Lizard Day. While some of those geckos had really cool patterning or coloration, I don't know if they'll be able to hold a candle to some of the amphibians we're talking about today. In terms of coloration, the Bornean Horn Frog is nowhere near as popping as some of the species we're gonna talk about today, but dang, it is still a cool looking frog. Also called the long nose Frog, it is probably the largest species of frog we're talking about today, with the adults being able to hit almost five inches in length. They're from the tropical rainforests of southern Thailand down into Singapore, Borneo, and Sumatra, and they range from this tannish light brown to dark on the top, with the belly and throat being a mottled brown to yellow or even orange coloration. And on their back, they'll have patterning that mimics the veins and overlay of leaves to help them blend in even better. Their most distinctive feature, however, is their nose and the ridges above their eyebrows, which are drawn out to almost comical proportions, giving them this long horned cartoon supervillain look. Just an absolutely alien looking creature that blends in perfectly on the rainforest floor. For number four, I just got done talking about this animal in my top five perfect reptiles for Christmas video, even though this animal got number five in that video because technically it's not a reptile, but the red-eyed tree frog is one of the most vibrantly colored cold-blooded critters alive today, and they're what a lot of people kind of default to when they picture a frog. Like really all the frogs that we're talking about today, this frog is from an equally beautiful place, the rainforest of Central America, and it doesn't quite have the intense camouflage that the leaf frog does, but with the bright greens on the frog's body, it definitely helps it blend into the general greenery of the rainforest. Those striking red eyes of theirs aren't just there to make them look cool, they also serve a defensive purpose. They're what we call a startle or a dynamic display, and with these, when a predator gets really close to them, like despite their best efforts sitting still with their eyes closed to blend in, they'll open their eyes and just stare at the predator. And in some cases, more so with smaller predators, these big, red, just unwavering looking eyes straight at them is enough to dissuade the predator from trying to eat the frog. Big red eyes, vibrant green body, bright blue legs and toes, just so much color and so much style doing it. This is probably the one that I would consider the king of camouflage. The Vietnamese mossy frog is a truly one-of-a-kind amphibian. There, there are plenty of other frogs like we just talked about that blend in looking like leaves or using bright colorations, but this is the only one at least that I know of that goes all in on the texturing and full bright coloration to make the blending in perfect. They're from the tropics of northern Vietnam from dense rainforests all the way up to steep limestone cliffs and with this coloration and patterning and texturing they perfectly look like just a clump of moss growing on a rock, which is where they hang out. They're found in flooded caves, cliffs, the banks of high up rocky streams coming down mountains at altitudes of up to 3,000 feet above sea level. While many of the frogs on this list are here for their bright, really striking coloration, this one is just, it's with the texturing and everything, it is just such a camo expert, it is such a cool looking frog. If the previous camouflage experts didn't look alien enough for you, we now get to what is probably the most famous weird looking frog. Glass frogs look so bizarre. And I mean, there's a lot of animals out there in nature with translucent or semi-translucent skin, mostly fish and invertebrates, but among vertebrates, it's fairly rare. Glass frogs comes from Central and South America where there are fairly small frog species. The biggest ones don't even hit three inches in length. And they're famous for obviously having this see-through belly where you can easily pick out the organs, veins, and arteries, and they have these semi-translucent legs. Their dorsal side though is opaque, making it look like a seemingly normal normal frog from above. So what is the point of having a normal opaque green frog back, semi-translucent legs, and then a completely see-through belly? Well, researchers have found that using the semi-translucent legs tucked in against its body, it can actually soften the edges or the outline of the frog's body, playing with the brightness of it against the backdrop and making it blend in better from a distance on the leaf or whatever it's sitting on, making it harder for a predator's eyes to pick it up. So yeah, a see-through frog that uses brightness and light to play with predator's eyes so it doesn't get detected, pretty cool. For number one, 
what else was it going to be? Poison dart frogs are hands down one of the most visually stunning and infamous groups of animals in all of nature. They are beautiful, small, deadly. The world's deadliest frog is the Panamanian golden dart frog, and it has enough toxin in it to kill 20 adult humans or 10,000 mice. That is a lot of punch in a very small, pretty body. There are about 200 species of poison dart frog found across Central and South America, and being from this area, they obviously love dense tropical rainforests. And there's a lot of animals from this area that are also famous for being very brightly colored and dangerous. Now of those 200, not all of them are going to be a threat to humans. I would say there are a good bit of them where their poison wouldn't have that severe of effect on humans or even other large predators. The problem though is that there are so many different colors and patterns and body types and sizes, just so many different ones of these frogs that when you see one, you have no idea if it's one of the mild ones or one of the really dangerous ones, at least for those of us that don't have like a mental data bank of all the different species of these guys. These colors came about because despite poison dart frogs having poison and a lot of it being very dangerous, making poison inside the body is a very taxing thing. It takes a lot of energy to make the poison and they don't have an infinite pool of it at their disposal. So with these bright colors, which we call a posematic coloration, this brightly colored body tells predators, hey, don't mess with me. This is not a good time for you. And they deter the predator without having to waste any of their poison on anything that tries to pick them up. As for the coloration patterning, seemingly endless combinations. You've got green, there's red, orange, yellow, blue, black, white. Some have stripes, others have blotches, complete solid coloration, just the legs colored, there's spots. I mean, there's just so much variety here. I mean, how could I not have it be number one? So those were five of the coolest looking frogs alive. Comment down below if there was one you think I missed. Thank you to our amazing patrons for supporting the channel. If you'd like to do that for as little as three or five dollars a month, link for that will be down below. Like the video if you learned something. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you later.